Hey everyone, it's me. It's a windy uh, September day here in uh, southern Alberta and I came across a local treasure, I would say, that I thought would be nice to share with you guys. Now I apologize if the audio is a little rough. It's really windy here. That's, that's just our city. Uh, behind us is a Canadian Pacific Railway steam engine. And why am I showing you this? Well, a lot of you are probably intrigued into the reason as to why I've always loved military vehicles and my mechanical background, joining the Remi and things like that with the British Army. This started it all off. When I was young, uh, my dad used to take me to see uh, trains back in England. Um, I loved trains. In fact, I was obsessed with Thomas the Tank Engine for some strange reason. Uh, but he was the OG, okay? He was the OG as a kid. It wasn't, you know, Paw Patrol or whatever else they have nowadays. Thomas the Tank Engine was the way to go. And uh, of course, then I fell in love with locomotives and steam trains. And looking at one like this behind me, this beautiful uh, Canadian Pacific Railway train, it just kind of reminds me of how incredible engineering is and you know military vehicles and their engineering are just as incredible but when you look at something like this let's just take a look at this a little bit more closely like look at this thing it is absolutely beautiful now this is a canadian pacific railway montreal rebuilt n2 it was built in august 1927 this is an old steam engine look at the size of the cylinders on it though a, a train like this Unfortunately, it's it's so, sort of somewhat being, it's rusting a little bit, but it's been looked after fairly good. But just look at the size of this thing. Now, these trains will be hauling huge, huge loads across Canada, um, because of course we do have a lot of distance here in our beautiful country of Canada, and they need to be pulling a lot of cargo. Um, you can just look at the coal bin on this thing. I mean, it's absolutely gi gigantic. Um, I don't believe I'm allowed to go inside, which is unfortunate. I can't go into this railed off area because we do have vandalism in this city, pretty rough. But the engineering behind it, you know, I talk about military vehicles, I talk about tanks and planes and things like this, but think of the time and the resources and the engineering that went into designing something like this in 1927. You know, today we have AutoCAD, we have, draw, um, you know, systems that can generate engineering schematics we have complex ai that can you know create you know huge amounts of data within instances but this is this is designed from the scratch up uh, it's just absolutely beautiful and it it's raw raw old school engineering pure steel and iron and uh i just think it's one of the most beautiful things you can ever see like i love tanks right i love tanks i love military equipment when you look at something like this as to what it did and what it could do the power in these wheels i mean you've got to think four of these are going at any one time four of these wheels with two massive pistons there it's absolutely gorgeous let's keep walking around here 3651 Canadian Pacific. You can see the coal cart alone. Look at the springs on that thing. A huge spring suspension. You know, and the cab, I mean the cab probably holds like three or four people. If we go to the back of this thing here, there you go. Five thousand gallons. Five thousand gallons of water inside this thing and 1950 gallons of oil just to keep this thing operational that's the kind of level of engineering we're looking at this thing it's incredible anyway i just thought i'd show that with you today because uh you know it's, it's part of my history it's part of who matsmus is, is is learning about locomotives and trains and a train like this i believe needs some some uh, deserves some attention and some love so that's it beautiful Canadian Pacific Railway train. Have a great day, everyone.